Hi, I'm Dr. Loretta Ferrucci, a registered homeopath and online health and wellness coach. I um, have been a homeopath for 25 years. I was in 27 years. I've been in, was in private practice for 25 of those, and um, in the last three years, I have taken my business online. While in practice, though, I've always been fascinated by the energetics behind disease, and so I spent um, quite a bit of time studying traditional Chinese medicine and um, a technique called Jinshin Jitsu, which is a Japanese traditional healing art an energy healing technique. I was privileged enough to be able to attend the online group pro program presented by Gary Alexander, Gary Ramsey on the Alexander Technique. And this was my first experience of the Alexander Technique. I'd heard about it, I knew about it, I thought it was something that was to do with posture um, in order to help actors and singers. But I was absolutely blown away by the way that Gary presented it and by the ease and simplicity and about the by the effects of the technique. I had had um, a back pain in my lower back on my left um, lower sacroiliac joint. It had been bothering me for more than a month. I had had various energy treatments. I'd had acupuncture and massage and a couple of other things and it just wasn't shifting it. And within two weeks of applying the Alexander Technique as taught by Gary regularly and being aware of my posture during the day, during my everyday, day-to-day -day activities, um, I managed to shift that pain completely. It absolutely went away and it hasn't recurred despite vigorous exercise since then. So I have been using it with my clients to amazing effect. So I am not an Alexander Technique practitioner, as is obviously as obvious, but because I've always had an, in, um, a, an extreme interest in energy medicine, I've studied traditional Chinese medicine, and I've also studied a technique called Jinshin Jitsu. It's actually an art. Jinshin Jitsu is a traditional Japanese healing art, and it literally means the art of the creator through compassionate and knowing man. And I found many um, similarities between the theory, what I believe Gary was teaching, and Jinshin Jitsu. And so I'm offering you this introduction today in um, just being able to set the scene and the setting for you about uh, energy healing and how this technique can help you. So um, in energy healing techniques, there is an understanding that we have an energy body. So you, just like you can't see electricity, but you can only see the effect of electricity, you can't see the energy body, but you can see the effect of the energy body. And the effect of the energy body is our physical body. And our physical body contains not just our physical reactions, but our mental and our emotional responses as well. So the Alexander Technique, in my understanding, is designed to help to um, facilitate uh, psychological and physical healing in the body by using corrections in posture. It was founded by a man called Alexander Matthias. No, I've got that wrong. <laughs> what was his name? His name was Frederick Matthias Alexander. And um, he, he believed that correcting posture could correct um, conditions in the body. And he actually developed this technique when he lost his voice during public speaking and um, managed to restore his voice and he could return to doing what he loved, which was apparently reciting um, extracts of Shakespeare or Shakespearean sonnets or something like that. I read that on Wikipedia. So um, to understand how this technique works, in my understanding, um, we do have to understand a little bit about energy and how it works in the body. So just as we cannot see electricity, we also cannot see our energy bodies. Most of us can't unless we're clairvoyant. Um, so we have a physical body and we have an energy body. Just like we can only see the effects of electricity, we can only see the effects of what's happening to us energetically. And those effects come out in how our physical bodies operate, our body, our emotions, and our thinking. And in this energy body, the energy body houses the blueprint of the physical body. So just as you need a blueprint in order to build a building, and the building will conform to that blueprint, so we have an energy blueprint and our physiology conforms to that energy blueprint. So sometimes when we have signs and symptoms in the body, it arises because we have blockages or we have disharmony in the blueprint. The blueprint changes and then the physical follows suit. So we can affect this energy body through using various techniques. Now, I'm most au fait with Jinshin Jitsu. And in Jinshin Jitsu, we are taught that we are connected to source energy. And source energy is responsible for creating this blueprint. 
through a universal harmonizing energy called the main central vertical universal harmonizing energy in Jinjinjutsu. So we are all essentially sparks of the divine. That's what I believe. We are made in the image of a divine creator. We are creators in our own right and we are constantly connected to the source energy. But our lifestyles, whether it's what we eat, what we drink, what we think, the type of relationships we have, our ego identity and reality create obstacles to the free flow of the source energy through our beings. And when we can remove those obstacles or those blockages, we can allow that energy to flow freely through our bodies and through our beings, and that can help to restore harmony. I also believe that the body is a self-healing, has a self-healing mechanism. So again, when we remove the obstacles to cure, then that healing can occur. That is one of the basic tenets of homeopathy also, is that first, before we worry about remedies, before we worry about fixing anything, we just actually need to remove the obstacles to cure, and then the being can actually repair itself. So in Jinshin Jitsu, this main central universal harmonizing energy has its physical expression in the spine. So the spine and the alignment of the spine expresses or it facilitates that ability of source energy to move through our being. So when um, I learned the Alexander technique from Gary, I was like, okay, this makes perfect sense. The spine is the physical expression of source energy. Source energy is what is required in order for us to heal. And so if we create an alignment in the spine that facilitates the movement of source energy, then we can allow that energy to heal our beings. It also um, is associated with the breath. Healing is associated with the breath. The breath is what keeps us alive. And so um, when we breathe consciously with our diaphragm, when we do the kind of diaphragmatic breathing that is taught or that Gary certainly taught me as part of the Alexander technique, then once more we connect to source energy through our breath. And what we do is we create ease in the body. And when we create ease in the body, we allow the source energy to move through the body. And we do that by aligning the spine. So I hope that that creates some context for you if you're new to energy medicine or if you're not, that um, you can understand why this technique is so powerful. It's so simple. The alignment is simple. It's not simple to apply. Um, it's simple to apply. We just have to remember to do it. And so one of the ways that I have remembered to do this is I anchor a, a, this technique in certain activities. So when I exercise, I try and maintain the awareness of that postural alignment that Gary has taught. When I'm sitting at my desk and I find myself slumping, I remember, oh, okay, you know, um, imagine that the skull is floating off the top of the spine and the other instructions that Gary has taught. When I am walking, when I'm walking on the beach, for example, I remember that alignment. I try and maintain that alignment so that I can practice this in my daily life. I connect it to activities that I do regularly. And I would highly recommend that you do that because that allows you to make a, a connection which then reminds you to actually maintain that alignment. So this is not necessarily, in my experience, not something that you have to set aside an hour for every day. You can incorporate it in every hour of every day. And that's what makes it even more profound, I believe. Um, I have also started introducing the, this, the simple alignment that I've learned from Gary with clients and it, it helps people to connect to their higher selves more effectively. So in the work that I do, I really help people to get that connection and to get that perspective so that they can create what they'd love. And by using the alignment that Gary has taught, I find that it's easier to get people to connect to that. And it helps to calm the mind it helps to settle the emotions and it definitely helps to heal the body. I certainly am a testimony to that. So I hope that um, this makes sense to you. I hope that this creates a little bit of context and I know that you are going to love Gary's teaching. He teaches from a place of open-hearted wisdom and um, do not be fooled by the simplicity. Simple does not mean not effective. In fact, healing doesn't have to be hard. It can be simple and we can do it with ease. And I do believe that this beautiful technique um, can help us do that.